much for checking out today's Melly Monday. What we are going to be doing is I am going to show you some of my favorite high-end products and some of my favorite drugstore products. So I'm not really doing a comparison, but I realize that not everybody has just money laying around to buy all of these high-end products because I mean, I know that I don't, so, you know, sometimes it's nice to know the high-end products are what are good because some aren't. Some are not good, guys. Let's just put that out there. You spend a lot of money on something that bombs. You know, it's not good. But um, what I wanted to show you today is just, you know, some really good high-end products, but also really good products for a budget. I know I'm on a budget, so gotta have that balance of spending money where it's worth it and you know wherever you can save some cash it's always really good too all right guys so to start i'm gonna show you my favorite high-end foundation this is the bobby brown foundation i love it it's the long wear even finish foundation and it's a full coverage foundation, but it's not cakey, and I really love that because a lot of the times you'll get a full coverage foundation and it'll just sink into any crease on your face, and it can even start to look muddy at the end of the day, but I have not had a problem with this one, and it's smooth and buttery, and then, you know, it lasts all day. It's a long wear foundation, and it lives up to the name. I really love this foundation. It is about $46 if you go to Sephora or... Ulta so it's it's a little pricey but I do love it and if you want to put money into foundation I recommend the Bobbi Brown now drugstore wise you know this is a really good foundation too and it's ten dollars it's the Milani conceal plus perfect two-in-one foundation it's a it's a foundation and a concealer so again you are going to get that um, full coverage that you want and it's gonna last all day. I really really love this foundation and for ten dollars That just makes my life. It makes it. Okay, so for favorite Concealer that's on the high-end side you better believe it is the Tarte Shape Tape. This stuff is so good and sometimes I ran into like Tarte having too much of a yellow undertone in their products, but this does not have that problem at all. It, I'm wearing it today. It's It just makes me feel like I'm a snow queen in a land of snow. But it, it does, it lasts all day. I don't have any problems with just looking chalky at the end of the day. This runs... This runs about $27 for this, but it's, again, if, if you want to put money into a product, I would recommend the Shape Tape. For my drugstore choice on concealers, it would definitely be Maybelline's um, Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I really love this concealer, and the sponge really helps to apply it and just give it a smooth finish, and it lasts all day, and it's really, really beautiful. It really does a good job for being, how much is this? This is like literally $8. So I will, I'll take an $8 concealer that works as good. Sometimes you just find a good find at the drugstore and you gotta stick with it, you know? Okay, so next, lipstick wise. Um, so Urban Decay came out with their Vice products and I kind of was like, I don't know if I wanna put that much money into a lipstick because I'm thinking about it and I'm like I get lipstick palettes all the time for my clients and I have so much lipstick I have a I have a box of lipsticks I, I just tend to collect them whenever they're on sale but then they never get used so I was like do I really want to put money into another lipstick but during Black Friday there was a big sale and I'm pretty sure I got this for ten dollars instead of Okay, so they're like $18, so I only saved $8, but that's kind of huge. That's a big deal. So I do love this. It like applies very smoothly and it's long lasting. I was able to drink water and just like wear it at work. It faded eventually, but it wasn't a cakey fade. You know how sometimes like your lipstick will fade off and it's like you look like you have lip liner. It's so gross. Like you're just like, I don't want to wear lipstick at all because it's going to look like I 
look crusty and gross but I didn't have that issue with this but it is long lasting and I really like this color it's like um it's the naked comfort matte color um, and it's just a nudie shimmery pink it's really really pretty I don't clearly have it on right now because I am actually wearing the Maybelline Superstay matte ink just bought this yesterday and I put it on for work it lasted me from 7:45 to 12 30 reapplied it 12 30 and it lasted till um five o'clock like and I'm actually I'm wearing it right now um I'm obsessed with this formula it's it's really insane they figured it out How'd they figure this out? Like, I'm so proud of you, Maybelline. I'm so proud. So this runs about, um, it's $7.94 at Walmart, folks. $7.94. Alright, so moving on to two products that I don't have a buddy for. Like, it's just one product for this and one product for that. Um, because these are products that I have a really hard time venturing out on. Um, because I'm so sold to these products. Um, the first one is going to be the Voluminous um, L'Oreal uh, Lash Paradise. I I love this mascara. It plumps them, it lengthens them, it does everything that I want my mascara to do without being expensive. I mean this is ten dollars and it does I, I have tried mascara after mascara and lots of high-end mascaras and I feel like I waste money because they make my lashes look really spiderly, spiderly, spidery, there's no L in there, but spidery and um, and they just tend to look like nothing like I want them to look. I have really thin lashes, they're long but they're thin and so what I want is for them to look full and long at the same time and that is what I get from this mascara it's it's one of my favorites and then the other product this is a high-end product is the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow I really really love this product for my brows it just goes on just flawlessly and it stays on all day I'll like rub my brows sometimes and they'll like stay it won't come off and I and I really like that and it, they just have like really good colors as you can see this is my shade you don't run into like um, a lot of weird undertones with them um, they're about $18 but I, I don't feel like that's super bad for literally this is a lot this is a lot of product in this this little tub here so I feel like it's worth it um, and I just I've become very obsessed with my brows so <laughs> I like them to when I want them to be full to have that ability to be full and then when I want just more of a natural day I can just make them look more natural like it gives you a lot of versatility um, in that little tube tub brow dip brow thing anyways all right guys so this is my Melly Monday and I had so much fun filming this for you guys I hope that this helps you kind of figure out a little bit more on do you really need to do all this high-end stuff or can you do some drugstore products um, I really have that like in between where I'm not afraid to buy some elf products but I also, I like my Anastasia Beverly Hills. So, you know, there's just a balance that you will eventually find as a makeup artist or someone who just loves makeup. Um, you, you have to decide, do you want to pay rent or do you want the lipstick? Just saying. You guys, um, go ahead and leave a like and a comment and then subscribe and click that little bell button to get notifications for all of my videos. And I will see you guys next Smelly Monday. Composure. First, I wanted to start, let's start with like the high ends first. Today I am bringing you my favorite high-end prob problems. <laughs>